folks, this is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week, we go seven hours a day, we go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night, folks. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and you go against yourself, and it'll take longer to accomplish your goals. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 67, Nasdaq up one, S&P's up three and a half. Gold, gold contract up six dollars sixty cents, traded 2,066 an ounce. We have silver up 16 cents, 25 dollars 47 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude at a buck and a half, 77 dollars 91 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a 10-year note trading up 12 ticks at 109.29. The 30 up a full point at 117.12. And king dollar, king dollar. Up 49 ticks, trading 102,795. Euros at 109, yen's at 147. British pound is trading at 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, we still have that ABC structure that is in place with a 462, and we hit out here today, the, uh, let me get this baby. So you hit 450, 458.32. Uh, Bottom line, my take is that we're still going to get it. Now let's go take a look at the futures because what we did definitely did, had futures were up 30 points, gave it up in spades, come all the way back down. Let's go take a look at these volumes and see where we're sitting here. Okay, so I got the S&Ps up, we're up, up, uh, up four bucks, and what you're going to see. Okay, so let's see. So we just came back down, but yet you didn't get to the low. Yeah, this still, this, okay, so last 30 minutes ago, that was 34,000 contracts going into 38, going into, uh, going into 54. Okay, we're going higher. So what you had here is this. Let me open this up a little bit more. Right there, that was... Yeah, 54,000 contracts on the S&P. Now, this was right before 10 minutes, 20 minutes before the low. We came back down and tested that, but you tested it with uh, 34. So that's, that's saying that now the top, not the very highs of today, but the last top of this range is game, which is 45 or 45.67. That would be uh, 45.76. That's where that would be set up. NQs. Let's do the same thing with the NQs because they both gave it up. And I'll show you what, what, what it was all about the move in the dollar. So we take a look at the NQs, do the same type of setup. Yeah, so the NQs, we had 70, no, no, 20, 20 27,000 versus 13,000. We just tested with 13,000 versus 27. That says that wants higher price also. We go into the note and bond market. We take a look at the note and bond market. We pull up the 10 year first. What you're going to see inside the 10 year, we're up another 12 ticks. Now, what we also are, we're in the higher range now. Okay, we got in the higher range yesterday. Uh, you're at the 109.29. So 114 is game. Now, watch this. This is pretty cool here. We, I'm going to bring up the 10 year yield so that you can see the correlation. Okay, so this chart that you're looking at here, this is the exact. You can see at the high, you know, this high was generated when, you know, the, the markets were actually closed, but the bond market was, you know, open, 5.01, okay? We're at 4.27. Now, the bottom of this range is 3.56. And where we are right now, this is what's so cool. So where we are right now, you can see right there. We're right into, you know, there's... It'll take a little bit to get through here, you know, because you can see what, what has happened is that we traded here, let's see, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. We traded here about just less than a month, just less than a month. So we'll see how this gets, gets into this area. But the way this is set up right now is that you get 3.7 on the agenda, 3.5 on the agenda, actually, which is pretty, <laughs> which is really amazing, actually. That's basically over the top. Gold, gold contract. This contract wants 2,500 bucks, man. And it's gonna be wild watching this whole thing shake out. 
So we had here, I'm going to bring up the XAU and the HUI, because what we did yesterday is that you broke higher with conviction. I'm going to put the volumes up on it so you can see how this whole thing shook out. There we go. So what you can see is that you broke a consolidation that's going back four months, and you broke it with volume. And that's how you want to break a consolidation. Wide price spread, accelerated volume, it has all the above, bottom line. You take a look at this. Let me put this actually on a weekly now. So on, oh, look at this, man. Yeah, this is pretty cool. So on a weekly, what you, what you can see here is that your next move in the uh, XAU, we, we're at 123. You're talking about 141. We go to the Gold Bugs Index. We take a look at the Gold Bugs Index. It's going to be the same type of setup. We had the price and volume movement inside it. Get those volumes up for you. And you're going to see it's the decisive break of the consolidation in spades, too. Now, the cool thing here is this. Look, look, watch this, folks. See the HUI? That HUI is stronger than the XAU. When the HUI is stronger than the XAU, what that is saying is that the actual gold contract is going to keep accelerating. We take this back. We put it back three years. And what you're going to see, bottom line, we did the same break with conviction, and the HUI right now is at 241, and that's saying 294 is on the agenda. That's the next move up there. And then we get into the dollar. So if you get into the dollar and take a look at the dollar, what you're going to see here is that we started the day. What was intriguing, we started the day with the dollar up. And even that being said, the, the futures still went up. Um, bottom line is that it gave it up a bit. As it gave it up, futures came back. Now the real question is, is where are we going to go from this particular point? And this particular point, um, you know, we'll see how this shakes out. We're right, we're right in a spot right now that, you know, we'll see whether it can make it. That's the bottom line, meaning if the dollar will stay in a counter trend bounce. Uh, right now, you're only up 52 ticks, which is nothing. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. We have the Dow Industrials up 66, NASDAQ's down 4, SP's up 2. Stay right there, come right back, folks.